This is what I will tell you. I love that you smoke cigarettes. I love that about you. Because that means that you cannot overtake me. I love that you drink alcohol. I love that you drink alcohol. I love that you kill yourself. I find you funny. I find you funny that you kill yourself. I think you're a loser. I, I find you funny, but... And I actually love that you cannot overtake me because you drink alcohol. <laughs> and also, I love that you do drugs. I love that you do illicit drugs. I love that about you. I love that you kill yourself. I would actually love that you kill yourself today. Because you deserve it. You deserve to drink alcohol. You deserve to be poisoned in life. That's what you deserve. I won't lie to you. You deserve that. That's what you represent. But you can never overtake me. I love that you drink caffeine. I love that you drink coffee. I love that you need coffee to boost your day. I love that you do drugs. I love that you do the drug of caffeine. Because you need something. You always need something. I love that about you. I love that you need caffeine to boost your day. I love that you cannot overtake me because you drink caffeine. I love that you eat meat. I love that you eat meat. I love that you actually eat meat because you will die earlier than me. I love that about you. I love that you deserve that. You deserve that for yourself. You deserve to die 10 years earlier. I actually love you because of that. I love that I'm giving you this video to help you because you can now see what I do. I do this for you because I love that you eat meat. I love that you eat saturated fats. I love that you spend a lot of money on food that you don't need because you give me the opportunity to move forward in life. You give me the opportunity to overtake you. You give me the opportunity to go out and smash it because you are eating meat. You're going to live less than me and I'm happy for you. I'm happy that you do drugs. I'm happy that you drink alcohol. I'm happy that you think you're so strong. You're very strong in life. You eat meat, you're very strong. You can go to the corner shop and you can get whatever you want. You can go into a restaurant, you can get whatever you want. You can get the whole freaking menu because you eat meat. I love that about you. I love that you drink caffeine. I love that you need, need a up and go. That you need to stimulate your mind. I love that about you. I love that you spend so much money on caffeine. I love that you, that you drink alcohol. I love that you can go to a nightclub with a girl and you can manipulate her. You can manipulate her with your fucking loser techniques and your stupid poisonous mindset that you have. I love that about you. I love that you kill yourself. I love that you're going to die. <laughs> I love that you're going to die so, so pr prematurely in life. I love that you need alcohol to make yourself feel more of a man. You're so strong in life. You lift the gym. You lift gym. You do weights. You have a big physique, but you do ecstasy. You do ecstasy. You do cocaine. You're fucking so strong, man. Fuck you're strong. To me, you seem like a little bitch. You seem like a little bitch to me. You got the muscles, but you don't have the brain. Fuck your muscles. Why don't you get yourself a brain? I love, that, I love that you actually do cocaine. I love that you do ecstasy and you do those illicit drugs and you drink alcohol and you smoke po poison. You smoke the cigarettes. I love that you kill yourself, man. I love that you kill yourself, woman. I love that you kill yourself. I love that you drink so much alcohol because you're so strong in life. You're, you're so strong. You're so inspiring. You're very inspiring, honestly. You're very inspiring to those people that do that. But you're not fooling me. You're not fooling me in life. You're not fooling me at all. All of you guys who do that kind of stuff, you think you're so strong. You think you know it all. 
but you've been taught lies. You've been taught lies about what's good for you and what's not. You go on the street, you see people, they think they're so strong. And you can think you're so strong too. But I don't care about them. I care about you. Because I want you to improve. But if you're going to keep killing yourself, if you're going to be a little bitch, if you're going to drink caffeine, and you're going to sook, and you're going to eat meat, and you're going to kill yourself and die prematurely, because that's what you want. If you eat those stuff, and if, if you take those stuff, I mean, if you eat meat, then you're begging to die early in life. And if that's what you want, I want that for you. <clears throat> but also what I want for you is I want, you, I want to boost your life plan. I want to give you a free diet. I want to give you a free diet where you can expand your life by 10 years. I want you to quit all those drugs. I want you to inspire the world. But I actually love that you drink alcohol because your son, your baby son, gets to watch an alcoholic father and then you're going to go start beating your wife because you drink and then you're going to hit your child and your child's going to learn from you how much of a bitch you are because you drink alcohol and you Australians you fucking idiots who drink alcohol you're fucking dumb fuck you all you're fucking dumb you're dumb for drinking alcohol and for the world, all of you are fucking dumb who drink alcohol. All of you that fucking drink alcohol are fucking dumb. I promise you. Because you do not, you do not love yourself. And you cannot fucking go against me. You cannot say shit about me. And if you eat meat, that's what I want for you. But also what I want for you is to expand your life. I want to expand your life. I want to expand your life. But you Australians are so fucking dumb who smoke cigarettes. You people who smoke cigarettes are fucking dumb. And you can say whatever you want about this. But I'm giving, I'm giving you the truth. That if you smoke cigarettes, if you take caffeine, if you eat meat, if you do everything negative in life, you're going to suffer the consequences and you're going to die prematurely. So, fuck you cunts, if you think that I was against you in this video, because I was totally for you, I was totally giving you something of value in this video. So if you do not oblige to what I say, then you can do whatever, you fuck, whatever the fuck you want. And I don't want to change you, but I just want to open you up so you fucking see that if you do drugs, you're a little bitch. Because I'd love to make a point for you. So you see who's strong enough. You're looking at the person who's strong enough in life. And you woman, you go for guys. You go for guys that drink alcohol. Because you're not good enough either. You're not good enough either. That's why you go for the person who you think is good enough for you. Because that guy drinks alcohol just like you. So that's what you deserve. You deserve poison in life. You deserve poison. And that's all I can tell you. I'm just being real with you. I'm not going to fucking help you. But I am going to fucking help you succeed. I am going to help you succeed. But I don't give a fuck about you. You call yourself Australian and you drink alcohol. or well, you're a fucking idiot. If you want to be a true Australian, if you want to be a true Australian in life, you're going to hear my words. You're going to listen to these words. That you're a little bitch if you drink alcohol. You're a little pussy. Little pussy, little bitch. You're a little bitch for drinking alcohol. You can say whatever you want. You're not strong. You're not strong. You may have big muscles, but you drink alcohol. You need, you need alcohol with those big muscles. And you're a little bitch.
You guys talk. You all talk. You all talk. You're very cheap. You're very cheap in your words. You're telling other people don't do something, but then you're fucking doing it. Why don't you fucking talk? Why don't you live your talk? Why don't you live your talk? Live your talk. That's what you have to do. You have to live your talk more. You have to be like me more. You have to be like me. You don't have to do the exact same things I do. You just have to live your life to the fullest. You just have to love yourself 100% like I do. <clears throat> I love you enough to swear at you. I love you enough to call you a little bitch. I love you enough to tell you the truth. That if you smoke, if you do drugs, if you do legal drugs, if you do alcohol, you're a little bitch. You need a slap. You need to be bashed. You need to be bashed because you're setting a bad example for Australia and you're setting a bad example for the world. You're setting a bad example. And you guys are so tough in life. You guys are so tough, you, you drink alcohol. You drink alcohol, you need alcohol to have fun. And you guys are little bitches. All of you. All of you are little bitches. You guys know who is strong enough. And that's all I wanted to tell you. None of you can compete with me. You cannot. You cannot compete with me. I'm too strong for you. Unless you love yourself 100%. If you love yourself 100% like I do, you can do anything you want. You can say whatever you want. <clears throat> because you're living your talk. You're doing it. You're moving forward. You're motivating yourself. You're encouraging yourself. You have the emotion. You have the emotion. And you might think that I'm judging you. And I am judging you. Because that's what you do. I judge you based on what you do. Do you get that? I don't judge you based on what you say. I judge you based on what you do. And it's totally good that you judge people. It's a good thing that you, that you are judgmental. Because if you were not judgmental, you would be hanging around with nobody. And then again, you would hang around with everyone. How can you know what the word judgmental is? You don't even know that word. You don't even know what that means. But if you are not so judgmental, then probably you will be hanging around with a lot of people. Maybe you will not be hanging out with anyone else, except for yourself. You have to be judgmental so that you can be around the right people. So all I'm saying for you is, you have to love yourself. You have to move forward. But if you're being a little bitch, if you're being a little bitch, a little pansy, if that's what you are, if you're a little pansy, then all I can say for you is that you have to die. You have to die right now. You have to keep killing yourself. I want you to be depressed. I want you to be depressed. I also want you to succeed. How, you, how the fuck are you going to make sense of that? I want what you want. I want what you want. All I'm giving you right now is words. I'm just giving you words. Are you setting a bad example? Or are you setting a good example? What, what example are you setting? What are you doing? Look at, your, look at your patterns in life. You have to find out what you're doing. Are you being toxic? Do you think being toxic is good for you? Are you living life to the fullest? No, you are not. You're being an idiot. You're being stupid. You can be so inspiring if you just let go of the drugs. If you let go of the alcohol. You could do anything you want. But all you want to do is you want to do the ecstasy. You want to drink caffeine. You want to cope with drugs. And you're only suffering. That's all you're doing. 
And it, that's what you want right now. Because no one's motivating you. You're not seeking out information. You're not bettering yourself every day. You're not reading. You're not reading. Because if you're a reader, you would get off it. You would be, you would be at the top. You would love yourself. You would go wherever you want to go. You would be with whoever you want to be. You would do whatever you want to do. But all I'm saying for you is to make sure that you're doing the right things. That's the best for you. But why do you have to be a little bitch? Why do you have to, why do you have to do drugs? Why do you have to drink alcohol? Who are you, who are you trying to impress? You're trying to impress the crowd that drinks like you. You're keeping up with the Joneses. You ain't fooling me. I mean, you're a little bitch. All of you Australians. All of you Australians who drink alcohol and do drugs are bitches. Fuck you all. <laughs> Honestly, fuck you all. Why are you saying a bad example? Why are you ruining why why are you ruining the world with your fucking poisonous mindset? Why are you listening to your parents for? You see your parents smoke and then you fucking start smoking. You see your dad drink and then you start drinking like your dad. Why do you want to be your dad for? Why don't you fucking be yourself? Why do you want to be your mother for? Your mother's a drug addict. <laughs> Why do you want to be your mother for? Your mother smokes cigarettes. Why do you want to be your mother? Why don't you be you? Why don't you counter your mother's thoughts? Why don't you, why don't you get away from your mother? Why don't you surround yourself with better people than your mother? I'm telling you the truth. Why do you want to be around your mother for when your mother's dragging you down? Why do you want to be around your family for when they drag you down? You have to, you have to see things in perspective. I'm giving you a bright perspective right now. I'm telling you that I'm strong. You have to get that through your thick head. I'm just being honest with you. Many of you people out there in the world, you think you're so strong. You think you know it all. But you don't fucking do it. You just fucking talk. You act tough. You act alpha. You're not fucking alpha. If you drink alcohol, you're a little bitch. You're beta. Alcohol makes you beta. It doesn't make you alpha. Any drug in the world will make you beta. I bet your mum and dad didn't teach you, teach you that. I bet your mum and dad or your little brother didn't teach you that. You never know. If you do poison, that's where you give out. Whatever you do, you give out. I want you to succeed. I want you to succeed. But too many of you think you're too good. You think you're too good and your, and your talk is cheap. Your talk is cheap. And you have to start doing and you have to talk less. You have to talk less and you have to do more. You have to work in silence. You can judge me. You can say whatever you want about me. But what you cannot take away from me is that you cannot take away that I love myself 100%. Because that's what you guys will never do unless you change. Unless you guys love yourself, you can never love yourself like I do. You can never love yourself 100% if you don't give up drugs. If you don't give up drugs, you cannot love yourself enough. So why do you do drugs? I'm 26 years old. I'm already stronger than you. Because you need drugs. You need drugs. And if you don't do drugs in this video, if you're watching me and you don't do drugs, and you are vegan also, then congratulations to you because you are on my level. 
you are further than anyone else in life. If you become sober and you are vegan, congratulations to you because you are contributing something positive to life. But all of you that do drugs, you're setting a bad example. And you need to step the fuck up. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and you have to be like, I love you. I don't hate you, I love you. And then you have to do the disciplines. You have to discipline yourself. No one's taught you how to discipline yourself. Your mom and dad haven't taught you how to discipline yourself. Because guess what? Your mom and dad don't know how to discipline themselves. Because otherwise they teach you. Your mom and dad cannot teach you what they don't know. So you have to get around the people who can teach you what you need to know. So all I'm saying is that you have to surround yourself with people who you want to become. So if your dad's a smoker and you hang around with him, you're going to become just like your dad. You are who you surround yourself with. So you have to be careful what you're listening to, who you're listening at, who you're listening to from, what you are listening to, why you are listening to it, what you are eating. You have to be aware of your diet. You have to be aware of your nutrition. You have to know what you are doing in life. You have to plan. You have to motivate yourself. But if you are doing drugs, you're setting a bad example, and I don't want that for you. I want a good example for you. I want to teach you some skills. I want to teach you how to better yourself. Because you deserve it. Oh, you deserve it. You do deserve it. You deserve it, honestly. I'm being real with you. You deserve what you're doing right now. And you cannot blame anyone for your failure. You cannot blame me for your failure. You cannot blame anyone for your failure in life. So the next time you say your friend got you into it, your mum got you into it, your work got you, got you into it. The next time you say your work or anything got you into it, whatever you're doing, if you say that someone got you into it, then guess what? You're lying to yourself. You're holding yourself back. You're not taking ownership. You're not being responsible. And what you need to do is you have to fucking step up and you have to fucking... You have to be it. You have to be the person. You have to be the 1%. You have to be... All you can be, you have to fucking motivate people. How else are you gonna fucking become a leader if you don't motivate people to better themselves when that's what you need to do? You cannot motivate anyone when you're a smoker. You cannot motivate people when you do drugs because everyone sees what you do. But once you live the life of 100%, baby, you're going up. You're going all the way up. And you're going to smash it. You're going to kill it. You're going to be all you can be, and you're going to eat it all. You're going to have everything. You're going to have God by your side. You're going to have God by your side. A lot of you people out there are missing God from your life. Because you're chasing God. Why are you chasing God? God's already with you. <clears throat> you don't find God. God finds you. So, if you want to better yourself, you have to fucking, you have to move forward. Stop lying to yourself. Stop lying that drugs is good for you. Stop lying that alcohol is good for you. And I want you to stop saying that alcohol is not a drug because you're stupid if you say that. You're so stupid. Why do you think that? Why do you think that alcohol is not good for you? I mean, why do you think that alcohol is good for you? 
If you think that, you're stupid. Alcohol is always bad for you. Alcohol is toxic and it's very bad for you. So you have to be something better. You have to be better than toxic because alcohol is toxic for you. Alcohol is toxic for you and you can say whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. If you're watching me right now, that means you're dedicated. You're stepping up to be me in life. You're stepping up to be strong. I'll respect you if you're on my level. I'll respect you if you're on my level. If you're not on my level, I'll inspire you. I'll inspire you. If you hate me, you will never become me. If you hate me, you will never become on the level that I can go up to. But if you listen to me, if you listen to me, I can get you to my level. If you see all, if you see past my bullshit, then I'm sure that you will succeed. Life is testing you. I'm testing you. I'm testing you. Everything that I said in this video was a test for you. And I want to see who are the people that you can inspire. How can you inspire people? It's not about me, it's about you. I want to see how you can inspire people. I want to see how you are going to become on my level. I want to see if you reached this stage of the video. Because if you did, then that means you love me. And that means you want to become me. And if you watch someone else, that means you want to become them. If you talk to someone, you want to become them. Who you associate with is who you become. So make sure that you get those fucking junkies out of your life. Tell your junkie friends to fuck off because you don't want to be a junkie. You want to tell people who are junkies in your life, fuck you, and want you to go away. You don't want junkies in your life. You want people who lift you up. You want people who have done it. I want you to go to the people who have done it. But if you think that I haven't done it, if you think that I have not done it, then you are totally wrong. I can tell you 100% that there are many people out there who cannot be me. You cannot be me. There are many people out there who are not vegan and who are not sober. And I can teach you a lot about those areas. So just because you don't see me traveling the world right now, doesn't mean that you won't. If you underestimate me, if you underestimate if you underestimate me, if you underestimate me, if you underestimate, if you underestimate, if you underestimate me, if you underestimate me, I swear I will overtake you. If you overestimate me, I will fucking overtake you. Whatever you fucking think about me, I will overtake you. If you're worth 80 million dollars right now, I will overtake you. If you are worth one billion dollars, I will overtake you. Don't you dare, don't you dare uh, overestimate me. Uh, don't you dare overestimate me. Don't you dare underestimate me. Don't you dare judge me. But I can judge you. Because everyone's gonna judge you. Everyone's gonna judge you, no matter what you do. You cannot call me bad for judging you. Whoever you are, you can judge me. Because guess what? Even if you judge me, you cannot be me. If you are jealous of me, you have to love yourself 100%. If you judge me, you have to love yourself 100%. Do 
you understand that? Do you understand that you have to love yourself 100%? Because if you don't love yourself 100%, you can never be on my level. You can never be on my level if you don't love yourself 100%. But if you do something about it, if you do something about it, then you can become like me. You have to start loving yourself more and more to become more and more like me. You can call me whatever you want. You can say whatever you want. You can judge me however you want. In the end of the day, it's all about you. It's all about what you want to become. What do you want to become in life? What do you want to do? Who do you want to inspire? Why do you want to inspire? When are you going to inspire? Where are you going to inspire? Where do you want to live? How are you going to live? What are your passions? You have to ask yourself questions. So if I have inspired you in this video, I hope that you take something home from this video because I have nothing against you. But I just wanted to tell you guys who do drugs today that you guys are little bitches. You guys are little bitches. You have to fucking admit it first. You have to admit that you're a little bitch. You have to take ownership. You have to take ownership that you're a little bitch, that you drink alcohol, that you're a little junkie. <laughs> you have to admit it first so that you can overcome it. So thank you for watching this video and if I have, if I have inspired you, if I, if I have inspired you, if I have inspired you in this video, what I want you to do is, I want you to subscribe below to my YouTube channel and I want you to watch every single video that I put out for you. I'm giving you that challenge. I want you to watch everything I do. And I want you to watch what everything, I want you to watch everything that everyone else is doing. Once you realize that it's not in the saying, it's in the doing, you are already moving forward. You are already becoming the person you want to become. So you have to start looking more into your life and you have to start looking more into your patterns about what the fuck you want to do in life, who the fuck you want to become, what the fuck you want to do, when the fuck do you want to do it, where the fuck do you want to do it, why the fuck do you want to do it, how the fuck do you want to do it, and you have to fucking step up. You have to be self-aware. You have to be self-aware. If you're not self-aware, you have troubles. You have a lot of troubles. You have to speak your mind. If you don't speak your mind, then you're becoming a nobody. So you have to be able to tell people what you are on about. You have to be able to speak your mind if you want to be an influencer. If you want to be anything in life, you have to be able to sell yourself. You have to be able to brand yourself. You have to be able to open up a business. You have to be able to invest. You have to be able to read every day. If you don't read every day, man, you're going nowhere in life. You're going nowhere in life. What are you doing with your life? Why do you need drugs? I bet it's because you are bored. You're very bored. <clears throat> I bet any money that you are bored and that's why you do drugs. But you have to figure out a way that you can move forward from that boredom that you have. You have to fill in the gaps. You have to fill it with something. When you quit drugs, you have to fill in that time with something. You have to do something. You have to do your hobbies. Live your life. You have to go places. You have to do things. You have to love yourself. You have to sleep properly. If you want to overcome mental illness, you have to sleep. You have to sleep. You have to do what's right for you. You have to go places. You have to travel. How are you going to travel without money? You need money. You have to work. You have to do something. You have to have a passion. Otherwise, you're becoming a nobody. I don't want that for you. I want you to love yourself. I want you to grow. I want you to live to 100 years old. But if you're going to die, if you're going to be a little bitch, if you're going to keep doing drugs, if you're going to keep spreading poison now into the world, then I want you to die right now. I want you to, I want you to just leave this world. 
because you're no good for anyone. But if you do have a sign of change in you, if you do want to change, if you do want to love yourself, if you do want to make an improvement, then you have an opportunity right there. You have an opportunity to go out and inspire the world. You have an opportunity, you have an opportunity to love yourself to 100%. You have an opportunity to be all you can be. But as long as you don't make that decision to move forward, then you will never move forward. It's all about moving forward for you. That's why I made this video for you. That's why you're listening to me. Because I am your opportunity. So are you going to contact me? You have my email below. I can mentor you. I can give you free knowledge. I can give you the knowledge that I have to help you succeed. I can help you become better than you are. If you do not love yourself 100% today, I can help you. So think about how much I can help you. I can get you to 100% love for yourself. I can make you love for yourself. I can make you love yourself even more. I can help you gain the skills necessary to love yourself. But then you have to take a risk. You have to be able to grow. Growing is your best investment. It's your best risk. It's the risk that's going to return the best investment in your mindset and the best investment in yourself. If you don't take risks, you're going nowhere in life. You have to take risks. You have to be able to push yourself, even when you can't. You have to do things you hate so that you can succeed. You can do things you love and you can succeed. You can do things you hate and you can succeed. You can do anything you want and you can succeed. <clears throat> but you can also do anything you want and you can fail if you have the wrong mindset. That's what I can teach you. I can teach you mindset. Do you want to have a great mindset? Then all you have to do is contact me. You can find me on Snapchat. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook page. You can find me on my Facebook page. You can find me on my Facebook. My name is Danny Milovojevic. Now you know me. I can help you. I just want to help you. I don't want you to judge me. I don't want you to do anything. I want you to do everything. I want you to do everything that you want. I want you to judge me. And I don't want you to judge me. I want you to do whatever you want. I'm just talking with you. I don't care what you do. I just want to help you. So you can find me on Snapchat. You can find me on my Facebook page. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on YouTube at growthcoach007. I just want you to know that you matter. You matter. You matter as much as I do. Because what I do is for you. And if you don't like it, then you can go to hell. But if you do like it, then you are going to be someone. You're going to be someone because I am someone. And because I am someone, I'll make you a someone. So, all you need to do is you have to lift yourself up. You have to be able to exercise. You have to be able to eat correctly. You have to be able to have the right routines. You have to be able to have the right routines that are right for you so that you can move forward, so that you can love yourself, so that you can love others 100%. Because if you don't love others 100%, that means you don't love yourself 100%. If you don't love someone else, you don't love yourself. I am you and you are me. If you have an ounce of hate for me, you have an ounce of hate for you. You have to come from a position where you love yourself 100% and once you love yourself 100%, that means that you love everyone else 100%. No one's against you, it's only you that you are fighting in your own mind. So you have to unlock your own potential 
and you have to be able to do it yourself. I can help you, I can guide you, but you have to do it yourself. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? How are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? Where are you going to do it? Are you still in this video? Because if you are, then that means that you are motivating yourself to become better. You're grabbing this motivation that I'm giving you and you are doing something about it. I want you to succeed. So you have to, you have to succeed. You have to do it for yourself. You have to encourage yourself daily. No one's going to encourage you. You have to keep getting encouragement. You have to do it for yourself because you're worthy. You have all that you need right now. You have the resources, you have everything that you need. So all you have to do is use those resources to inspire the world, to inspire yourself. Because when you inspire yourself, you also inspire others. When you love yourself 100%, you also inspire others to love themselves 100%. Make sure that you love yourself. Because that's when you truly live. You live when you love yourself. Love yourself always. I want you to never give up. I want you to never give up loving yourself because loving yourself is the most important. You may think that you have to be negative. No, you never have to be negative. All you have to do is do the right things that are going to make you love yourself. Do the right things that are going to make you become better than you are. Because that's when you become the best. That's when you can persuade people to do what you want. That's when you can persuade people to go and better themselves. That's when you can help people to sell themselves. You can help people to become better than they are. It's for you, for you it's never about becoming better than someone else. For you it's always better about coming for you it's always better about becoming better than yourself. So when you become better than yourself, when you become better than yourself, you are moving somewhere, you are going forward and you are looking on the horizon and you're like, fuck you, I'm gonna smash you. You're going to take it, you're going to grab it. You're gonna grab that pole and you're gonna run. You're gonna run with it. You're gonna run with it like in the Olympics. And once you go, you're going to, to the fucking fastest that you can you're going to fucking run. You're going to fucking run the fastest you can and you're gonna fucking chuck it. And when you chuck it, it's gonna be the fucking longest throw you've ever thrown. And once you chuck it and you look at it, it's fucking flying for you. And you're looking at it and you're like, motherfucker, I hope that you hit the world record. And then you're looking, you're looking, you're looking and you fucking hit the world record. And then the crowd cheers for you. And when the crowd's cheering for you, you get that gold medal and you're thinking, fuck you, Danny, you motivated me. And you helped me get to this stage. You helped me become all I can be. So thank you very much, Danny. Even though I do not expect anything from you, I don't want anything from you. I just want you to become better than you are. That's all you have to do. You just have to become better than you. You have to. If you don't become better than you, guess what? Who's got your money? Guess what? If you don't become better than you, you cannot make money. So you need the money. You need the money. You need the money. You need the financial freedom. You have to go check out Grant Cardone. You can find him at the Cardone Zone. You can go to his Cardone University. <clears throat> Seriously, you have to go check him out. He will teach you how to sell. You have to sell yourself. Do you know what selling yourself is all about? It's about you, it's about your brand. It's about what you can do for the world. It's about how you represent yourself. It's about who you are. You have to get that. You have to public speak. You have to. If you don't public speak, you become a nobody. What do you think this is? Do you think this is a game? Do you think this video is a game? I'm here for you. 
I'm talking in this video for you. I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for you. I just want you to do what you want to do. I just want you to know that I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for you. So once you get that through your head, that you have to move forward. You have to move forward. If you don't move forward, you're moving backward. And you don't want to go backward. You want to move forward. You want to move into the future. But you want to be now. You want to live now. You want to do things now. You don't want to do things in the future. I just want you to know that there's nothing in the future. You just want to be moving forward though. Just move forward for you. All you want to do is move forward. So once you move forward, that's when you can better yourself. When you, can better, when you can benefit from yourself and when you can better yourself, when you can better yourself and when you can benefit from yourself, that means that you can encourage, that means that you can move forward, that means that you can become all you fucking can be. And that's all I want for you. You have to be interesting. You have to be an interesting person. You have to be able to do things that are interesting for you. You cannot do things that you dislike. You have to do things that you love. But also, if you do things that you dislike, make sure that you love it. Make sure that you love the things that you hate. You have to love your enemies. You have to love what you hate if you want to succeed. Because what you hate can help you succeed if you love it. If you love what you hate, you have a greater opportunity to succeed. You can go always with this. You can do whatever you want. It's better to do what you love than what you hate. And I hope that you have a path. I hope that you have something to do in life. I hope that you can overcome boredom. I hope that you can discipline yourself to become better than you are. You deserve that. You deserve to become all that you can be. You deserve to sell yourself. You deserve to have a proper business that can help elevate you to do whatever you want. You need to travel the world. You need to public speak if you want to have a business. If you want to have a business, you have to be able to entertain the audience. You have to be able to inspire the audience. You have to be able to inform people. You have to be a media company. You have to listen to those who have the status that you want. You have to become like someone. But then you are becoming more unique the more you learn. You are becoming more unique the more you grow. You are becoming more unique the more you discipline yourself. So make sure that you keep loving yourself. Make sure that you keep motivating yourself. Make sure that you keep having the right habits. Make sure that you keep reading every day. That's what's gonna move you forward. That's how you move forward. There is nothing else that you can do than live in this moment. And once you live in this moment, that's when you can do anything. There is nothing else but loving yourself. There is nothing else than motivating yourself. There is nothing else than encouraging yourself. There is nothing else than moving forward. And you just have to steer in the right direction. You have to. Because if you don't know what I'm on about, then you don't even know yourself. I just want you to know yourself. I want you to know who you are. I want you to go forward. I want you to move forward. I want you to push forward. I want you to fucking smash it. I want you to fucking kill it. That's what you have to fucking do. You have to. You have to fucking smash it. Just fucking smash it. That's what you have to do. I want you to fucking smash it. You have to fucking smash it. You have to fucking do this for you. You have to do this for your family. You have to do it for your sister, for your brother, for your fucking family. You have to do it for fucking everyone. You have to do it for everyone. I love you and I hate you. I just want you to succeed. I'm not trying to offend you. If you got offended, then that means you're reacting. You don't want to be reacting. You don't want to be reacting. Because if you react negatively, that means you are holding yourself back. If you think that I'm positive, then that's good for you. But if you think that I was holding you back in this video, then you've got a whole nother thing coming because I never meant to offend you. You got offended yourself. A person who is secure in themselves will never offend you. But also, if you are 
secure in yourself, you'll never be offended. So what are you going to do? How are you going to do it? Who are you going to do it with? And I don't care who you do it with. I'm just opening up a better direction for you. Do it for your fucking family. Succeed for your fucking family. Do you like that? Just because I swore at your family doesn't mean that I dislike your family. <sighs> I want your family to succeed. I want your family to succeed. I want you to succeed. I want your baby to succeed. I want your baby brother to succeed. I want all of you to succeed. But are you going to do it? You have to do it. I want you to stop watching the television. I want you to stop looking at the news. Because the news is never going to help you. The news never helps you. So what are you going to do? How are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? I want you to go out there and I want you to kill it. I want you to read. I want you to become better than you are. I want you to gain the wisdom that you need. I want you to find the words to make your life a fucking blast. I want you to smash it. I want you to fucking kill it. I want you to go all out. I want you to do whatever you want. Go wherever you want. Love yourself. What else can I tell you? I can tell you anything. I can keep going for you if that's what you want. I can love you. Is that what you want? You're probably freaked out right now. I probably made you laugh. Honestly, you need to have more integrity. You need to have more integrity. You need to have more confidence in yourself. You need to have more confidence in yourself. You have to keep talking. You have to keep communicating to people. If you don't communicate to people, what are you going to do? How, how are you going to do it? You have to motivate yourself. You have to go to your mentors. Go to your mentors. What are you waiting for? Why do you go on social media? Why do you go on social media? You go on social media to inspire others. That's what you do. If you don't know that, then what are you doing? Why do you have social media for? You obviously want to become an influencer. What are you waiting for? Why don't you give value? Why don't you make videos? Why don't you post vi your videos to YouTube? Why don't you tag your videos? What are you ashamed about? Why are you ashamed? Are you ashamed of yourself because you love yourself 100%? Or are you ashamed because you don't love yourself 100%? <clears throat> because if you love yourself 100%, you'll never be ashamed. You've got nothing to be ashamed about. You can offend people, but it's never you that offended them. You can never offend someone. And no one can ever offend you in life. No one can offend you because if you love yourself 100%, you can never be offended. Ever. You can never be offended. You can never ever be offended. You can always improve yourself and you can always leave more room for improvement. You need more room for improvement. You have to improve yourself. You have to uplift yourself. You have to uplift others. If you don't uplift others, then guess what? You will never uplift yourself. You have to lift others to lift yourself. You have to lift the world to lift yourself. You are the world. You are the world in your world. You're the world in my world. I'm the world in your world. And you are worlds in a different parts of the world. You have worlds out there just like this world. You are a world in different parts of the world. And your world is my world. And your world is the galaxy and the Milky Way. You can go anywhere you want. You can have chocolate. You can have the Milky Way chocolate. You can have the Kit Kat. But then you are eating caffeine. You are eating caffeine and you don't want to be eating caffeine. You want to be loving yourself 100%. Caffeine is bad for you. It's bad for you. Trust me because if you don't trust me, who are you going to trust? You have to trust yourself the most. If you trust me, then I love you. If you don't trust me, then you can go 
to whoever you trust. If you don't trust me, I hate you. I never hate you. I have no reason to hate you. Why would I hate you for? <clears throat> I'm doing this for you. So all you have to do is you have to move forward instead of backward. You have to be able to find the right words to say for yourself. You have to be able to go from within and to logically speak out your words because that's how you're going to move forward. You have to be able to communicate on the camera. If you want to succeed, you have to be able to move forward on the camera. That's what you have to do. You have to be yourself. So I just want you to move forward. So now that you've seen this video, now that you've seen this video, I want you to subscribe below and I want you to put a comment in below. I want you to put a comment below in the comment section. I want you to ask me a question. I want you to ask me a question that you have that you want solved. Because I can help you. I can help you move forward if that's what you want. If you don't want that, man, you can do whatever you want. You can go wherever you want. You can do whatever you want. If you say, if you say that you don't have the money, if you say that you don't have the money, then what are you gonna do? How are you gonna get the money? You need the money. If you say you're broke, you're gonna be broke. What are you doing with yourself? You need money. If you don't have money, then you're broke. And you don't wanna be broke. You wanna be able to have your own jet. Do you see Grant Cardone? Do you see Grant Cardone? You have to be more like Grant Cardone. You have to be more like Grant Cardone because if you are not like Grant Cardone, then you are going nowhere. You're going nowhere in life. You have to learn from those who have done it. And that's what I want you to do right now. I want you to go and go. Love yourself. I want you to go and go somewhere to bury yourself. You have to go and love yourself. You have to go and smash it. You have to go and lift yourself up. You have to grow. If you don't grow, then I don't know what you're doing. What are you doing on this planet? If you're not gonna grow, what are you doing on this planet? You have to grow on this planet. You have to. You have to be uncomfortable. You have to do things that you don't wanna do. You have to push yourself. You have to push. You have to push. If you don't push, what are you gonna do? If you don't push, you have to push. You have to. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for in life? Do you see my mother there? When you have a mother in the world, you have to be grateful that you have a mother. You have to be grateful that you have a mother in the world. Because once your mother is gone, what are you going to do? You cannot get her back. So, now that you know what I've said, you still have to keep growing. You still have to learn. You still have to grow. You still have to be all you can be. Just love yourself, man. It's so simple, man. What are you doing with yourself? Go love yourself. Go sell yourself. Go fucking on Facebook and love yourself and just inspire the world through your thoughts. What are you waiting for? What are you doing with yourself? Why don't you go on social media and just fucking put your face out there? Why don't you fucking put your face out there? Because you can. You can do it. If you fucking think that you can do it, you can believe in yourself, you can do it, you can go wherever you want and you love yourself. You must do it. You must go. You must go and inspire the world. You must go and write all that you can. Because once you write all that you can, you can do whatever you want. Do you get what I mean? What are you waiting for? Are you still in this video? If you're in this video, man, you, you're, still my, you're still my fan, man. You, I love you, man. Like, I love you so much. I want you to write down below that you watched this whole video. And I will bring you something. I will see you. I will see you. I will see you somewhere. And I want you to be like, Danny, this is what I wrote for you. And I'll be like, that's you? Man, I'm taking you out. I'm taking you out for coffee, all right? I'm taking you out for dinner. I'm taking you out to Bahamas. 
I'm taking you out somewhere. And if you're a baby mama, then I want you to comment below. And if I am single, I will contact you. But if you are single, and I am not, then guess what? Then you have to find somewhere else. So, I'm giving you an opportunity, I'm giving you an opportunity below, if you're a baby mama, and you wanna be my baby mama, and you have to write below, <laughs> you have to write below, and if I'm still single, I will contact you. So that's your opportunity. But if you're too late, then you, baby mama, you have to go somewhere. And you have to get yours. You have to find something. <laughs> you have to go somewhere. You have to go find your guy. Because your guy right here is missing. And what you have to do is you have to better yourself. You have to. I'm talking in general for you guys now. You guys have to love yourself and you have to lift yourself up. You have to keep going. You have to keep going. and You never have to stop. You never have to stop growing. I want you to live to 120 years old. That's what I want you to do. That's what you have to do. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope that I've given you something in this video. I hope that you have watched this video to the end. I hope that you are my number one fan. And I love you. And see you guys in the next video. I hope that you guys have really enjoyed this video because if you guys haven't enjoyed this video, I don't know what the fuck you're doing here. <laughs> and I don't even know what the fuck you're doing here if you don't love this video. If you don't love this video, if you don't like this video fucking after one hour watching, man, I don't know who the fuck you are, man. You have to love my, you have to love my video because you have watched it for one hour now. You have to give it a like at the bottom because if you don't like it, I don't know what you are doing in this world because you just fucking... You're just fucking killing yourself. Or maybe you're loving yourself. I don't know what you're doing. But you have to like my video. It just makes logical sense for you to like my video. Because if you don't watch my video in the future, I swear you are missing out. You are missing out. And you have to watch my videos because I've got so much things that I want to teach you. And I've got so much knowledge that I want to give you. I want to give you so much. Do you know how much I want to give you? I want to give you all the world. I want to give you all the world. I want to give you all the stars. I want you to hold the star in your hand. And I want you to say that Danny Milovojevic, that you gave me this star. Because guess what? Do you know who I am? Do you see my eyes? Do you see my hazel brown eyes? I tell you right now in the face that these eyes you can never have. And these eyes you can always see. You can always see them, but you cannot have them because you have your own set of eyes. I hope you laughed, and I'll see you in the next video. See, right now, I'm independent. I live on my own. I have money, I have time, I have space. I have freedom. No father, no family. No one that can bring me down. I have the resources. I have a laptop. I have an iPhone. I've cut a lot of expenses. I've decorated my room. I live closer to the city. I have no car. Bought myself a scooter. I quit clubbing. Quit poker. Quit my job. I just have me now. And life is easier. It's easier. I have my public speaking. 
I have 9,000 quotes. 9,000. I have three books coming out. And more. I have a podcast on the way. I have a YouTube channel that's coming up. I have a niche. I have a broad mind and perspective. I'm able to talk to anyone. I have it easy. I just had to put emphasis on that because there are a lot of people today that would love to be in my position right now. That's my room. Look at my room. my room yeah, it's just me my mind my thoughts my experiences what I've become today <coughs> I'm 27 I'm young I'm young I'm young I turn my life around My life from the age of one to 15 years old, it was going upward. It was going upward, yeah. <coughs> 16, cigarettes, the cannabis. The alcohol, the friends, were negative, dragging me down. No mentors. My dad's mentality. My mum's and family's mentality. And they had no clue. I had no clue what I was doing in life. I didn't know where I wanted to go. I didn't know what I wanted to do. But here I am. I arrived in this point of time. So with that said, I have to get to a better place. And how will I do that? I have time. For the next two, three years. I give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I have time to do what's most important. Many people, they have money. They have travel. They can travel and they have money. But have no time. <coughs> <coughs> so fuck that. You need to have time, you need to have travel, and you have to have money. And that's a business owner today. That's what you call an entrepreneur. A person who can plan the future, plan their life ahead of time, and succeed on a later date. Do you want to build something in life? An empire? Well... You cannot just do it on your toes. You have to plan every day. You have to day in, day out plan. I plan 40 hours a week on my phone. I look at my phone 40 hours a week. Just writing, planning. People think that it's easy and it is. It is easy. You push yourself, but if you're not pushing yourself, 
then it's hard. And it's not easy. It's not easy to live life, even though it is. And this is now me being contradictory. Because in life, you have to be contradictory. If someone says life is hard, then you have to say life is easy. If someone says life is easy, then you have to say life is hard. Because otherwise, you would be conforming to other people. And other people can control you like that. So you always have to be looking at the road signs. They're called road maps. And they lead you exactly where you need to be in life. So myself, I have to be contradictory. I have to say things that other people do not understand. Because that's the only way that I will understand. By making people confused, I get to lift myself up. Because if people understand what I say, then they are going to drag me down. So I have to keep contradicting in life. Because that's the only way that you're going to stay interesting in life, no matter what you do. See, public speaking has made me who I am today. I am able to speak. I am able to speak in front of audiences. No matter how much, I don't care. But the thing is that I have to start marketing. I have to start earning income. Earning income. More income than I have. So that I can be richer financially. So I can do more things than just sit in this room. I have to expand myself. I have to get out there. I have to. Because if I don't, then what's my life? Just fucking in this room. I mean, yes, I'm thankful to be here. But I need more. I need more. I need more than this. What's happened in the past, I've overcome it. I've overcome my past. So now it's time to head over to the future and start planning what's going to happen. It's better to plan the future than to be unprepared. Many people do not understand life. In life, you cannot grasp it, even though you think you may can. Even though you think you can, you cannot. You can do something and you cannot do something. You may know it, and then you don't know it for sure. So, life is left, right, left, right, left, right. There is no one spot. There is no such thing as being in one spot. It's either you're growing or you're dying in life. And that's the thing. That's the yin yang. There is no in between. There is up or down, left or right, diagonal right, diagonal left. <coughs> so in life, you have to. Go against the naysayers. You have to go against what people say. You have to do what you truly are passionate about. You have to do what you love. If they're doing something, do the, the next thing. Do something else. Never copy anyone. Do your own work. If you're going to be in someone's business, be in your business. Never, ever work for someone else in life create your own business from scratch from scratch because that's the life that's the Mark Zuckerberg that's the 
Elon Musk. That is many people who have created their own businesses and have employees working for them. It's their business. They, no one can say that it's not their business because it is. But if I was to be working for another company that's unrelated to me and what I want to do, that's the beginning of unhappiness right there. Nothing in life is worse than working for someone else and making someone else richer. Why do you think I stand in my house right now with roommates? I have roommates, but I have my own room. I have my own room. And talk to you right now while other people around the world are going to nine to five jobs miserable they have money they cannot travel anywhere nowhere they have money though they have money but no time they have no time I'd rather have time than money in life so here I am, on social security, at 27 years old, in Sydney, with my own apartment, paying very cheap rent right now, in Sydney. And able to afford my living, able to Track my finances, do whatever I want. And people are miserable around me. And even though I'm sitting alone right now, I'm not alone. There are people sleeping in the next room, sleeping around me. But I'm still going up. People are stuck in the rat race and I've got the universe in the palm of my hand working for me. They're all working for me now. I get paid to do what I love right now. Believe it or not. Right now, I am getting paid to do what I love by the government. And I have time. So my dream has come true right now. And even though I used to think that I have to go out into the world and earn millions of dollars so that people would pay me to do what I love. But the government right now pays me social security, my living expenses, my food, everything which is all owned by the rich anyway. The rich have been giving me this allowance ever since I've come into the world. And I've got an idea, I've got a plan. I just have to put it to practice. And it's a huge plan, which is gonna take a huge practice. And I have the mind. I have the capability, I have the imagination, I'm a visionary, and I can do it. <coughs> so I am getting paid by the government to do what I love. On my terms. On my terms. I can do what I want, I can go where I want. I can go where I want, to be honest. I have the time. Many people do not have time. Time is your most valuable asset. Which is why, while they are going into a 9 to 5 job, I am out of the rat race, getting paid by the government to do what I love to do. 
while they are working for someone else. To do what they hate. And that's 98% of Australia right now. I am in that 2% of the world who are getting paid to do what they love. There are people right now around the world that have no water. Australia, 6,000 people on the street right now. About 110,000 people in Australia are homeless. About half the world has no banking system. Thirty percent, thirty-five percent of the world no access to clean water. People are not becoming educated. They're not stepping up. They have no one to teach them. They've got nothing to do during the days. They're very bored. People, they're very bored. people I used to know they all fucked me off and in turn I fucked them off mano a mano but because they fucked me off here I am today independent while well, they are working the 9 to 5 and I am here living the dream even though I'm alone which is making me stronger. It's making me stronger. Life is the best thing in life because there's nothing better. There is nothing better than life. There is only life. And it's either you do or you don't. You make it or you break it. What are you gonna do? Inspire or become a nobody. Do something. Do anything. Get good at something, like Grant Cardone said. He became good at the thing that he hated to do. He just tossed himself in there. There is no born passion that God gives you or that the greater good gives you in life. The best thing that you can do in life is just dive into something that's going to help you. It's going to help you. Dive into it. Whatever it may be in life. If you hate something, do it. Do it. Because if you don't, then go find something that's better. But I say do it because sometimes what you hate, you have to do. Some people hate going to the gym, but they have to go to the gym. Some people hate exercising, but you have to go. Some people hate eating healthy, but you have to do it. That's why I say it. Do what you hate. <laughs> do what you hate. Sometimes what you hate doing makes you miserable. But do the things you hate that make you a better person. <laughs> Just because you hate eating fruit doesn't mean it's bad for you. It doesn't mean that it's going to make you more miserable. But if you hate a job, you hate a job that makes you miserable, then go and do what you love. But if you hate the gym because you have to lift weights, then that's excuses. Because the gym always makes you a better person. It always makes you more attractive in all you do. So go and do the best things that you can. Live the best way you can. 
Talk about the best things in life. Think about the best people. Think about the best inspirational messages, the best stars, the best sunlight, the best everything. Always think for the best. Life is contradictory. It always was and always is. $10 million. I would love to earn it. I've got it here. Yeah, look. 1%. Question mark. $10 million. How do I achieve it? The only way I know how. And that's through contradictory effort. If I can be the 1% in the world. My name is the James Bond of growth. And the world's going to know who I am. And I've come here to enlighten people. I've come here from another dimension to inspire this world to greatness. And I'm going to fucking do it. <laughs> and that's it. That's all I have to do. Just be contradictory in life. When I grow, I grow the most through contradictory effort. There's nothing better because people cannot grasp what I have to tell them. Because once they grasp something, I turn the other way. I turn the other way. You cannot copy me. You cannot do what I do. You cannot be like me in life. And many people want to be like me right now. You cannot be like me. You can only be yourself. And yourself is all I want you to be. I never want you to be me. Never ever. What's the point in that? What's the point in you being me? This is all contradictory. Everything that I say is a contradiction. To everything. To you and me. To your father and mother. To everyone. Even your brother and your cousin. Do you see how contradictory that is? It may be inspirational. But it's all contradictory. It's all the way life works. Life works in many ways. It doesn't work in just one way. It works however you want it to work. You do what you want to do. You be what you want to be. You go where you want to go. You dress how you want to dress. You say what you want to say. You stand for what you want to stand for. There are so many ways to think about it. And there are so many ways to express. Even then, even though... There is only one way to express. But then, the yin and yang. There is many ways. You can express something in one way, and there are always a billion other ways to say the same thing. So life, you can say, always stays the same, even though it doesn't. It does and it doesn't. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Fucking neither. Neither came first. Because how can a chicken come first rather than an egg? Neither came first. To be honest, and that's it. You cannot say anything else about that. The chicken and the egg, neither came first. Okay? You cannot say that both came. That the chicken and egg came first. No. You cannot say it at all. But what you, what you can say is that the chicken laid eggs. The eggs hatched. <coughs> but then you can say that the world just came, boom, everything's here. And then, by that definition, the chicken and egg came first. So life is just contradictory. Never grasp onto one way of life. Never grasp one way of thinking. Grasp every single way of thinking. Think about it in every aspect. Think about life and how magnificent it is. Think about the best of life. Because why would you want to put yourself down? Life is a contradiction. Life is now. Life is always this moment. So do what is best for you 
And for me, right now, social security is the wagon to be in. <laughs> because I'd rather be paid for my time and for what I love to do, to spend time with myself and to live for free. Then, to be in a 9 to 5 job, miserable, working for someone else's company that I have no interest in. So everything I've said in this video is contradictory and I can just fucking speak about it without going back. I can move forward. I can move forward always. My mind is so smart. And I think about every aspect of how I think and what I do and what I say and why I say it and how I done that and why did I do that. And I think about it. And I get better like that. When I know when I get to know my mind. When I get to know my mind, I do what I want to do. I go where I want to go. I love who I want to love. I have loved before. I've loved everyone in life. I cannot say that I've never loved anyone. I have. If I'm still here today, I've loved everyone. Everyone who I've come in contact to. Even the people who are no longer in my life. I've loved them. I am financially free right now. I get to live for free. I get to live for free. People can say what they want to say. They can be jealous. Whatever want. They can say whatever they want. Whatever. But me, I, I will always, always, always be going up. <coughs> for me, there's no more going down. Because I am intentionally growing. I am growing intentionally. I am contradictory to everything I do and say. You cannot touch me at all. No one can touch me when I am in contradictory. No one. Because what you say, I'll go the other way. You may think one way of me, but that's totally wrong. I'll think another way, and I'll go another way. You might want me to go one way, but I've got many ways that I can choose. So the moment that you, the moment that you go the best route and you follow the signs that the road posts, the road posts, the signs of contradictory effort. That's the moment that your life is getting better. And you just have to practice being contradictory every single day of your life. Practice everywhere. Contradictory effort all the time. Because that way you stay unique. You stay the 1% of the world. You become rich. You become everything that you have ever wanted to be. You achieve everything that you want to achieve. You become anything you want to be. And this is a billionaire talk right now. This is a billionaire right now. The person you see in this video right now, this is billionaire. This is all billionaire stuff. Because spirituality makes you a billionaire. I have a billionaire mindset right now. Whether you like it or not, whether they like it or not, whether my family likes it or not, I have the mindset, I have the, I have the wisdom, I have the communication, I've got everything. I've got women, I've got women everywhere. They all want to be with me, all of them, even though then they are not right here with me right now. They all love me. I promise you. Because I am contradictory. They can never grasp it. They can never grasp me. And that's Alpha. <coughs> that's Alpha right there. To be able to learn 
on your toes. <laughs> That's alpha. Be learning. Be growing. Teach people because that's the best way you're going to learn. It's the best way you're going to learn in life. Go out there and express yourself. Speak your mind because that's what originals do. They love to speak. Humans are social animals, social creatures. And when you can socialize, you can do anything. To socialize with people and be good at it makes you the king or anything you want to be. You can be whatever you want to be. Just learn to be contradictory. Base your whole life on contradiction. As Osho said. That's what Osho says. One of my mentors. Your life is a contradiction. It's an accident. Your life is an accident. Even though it's not. <laughs> Some people will get offended. They'll get offended. Your life is the fuck you. Who you fucking think you are. Think you are telling me that my life is an accident. Trust me, your life is an accident. They, they fucking lose it. They lose it. Because they think only one way. They think only one way. They are easy to break. They are rigid. Rigid people. People who think one way are rigid. <coughs> <coughs> they fall down. They break. Someone tells them you're fucked and they believe it. <laughs> but see, a person who contradic contradicts everything in life, guess what they do? One guy says, fuck your beard, you look shit. And I'll be like, that's what your mama said. Ah, ah. See, see, like that's a contradiction, right? Like, I never took what he said to offend me at all. People can criticize you all they want. They can criticize you every single day. They can criticize you and criticize you and criticize you. But guess what? They can never get to you, ever, because you're a contradiction. You're a contra being, con being a contradiction. You're being contradictory. You're contradicting. You're contradicting everything that they say, everything that they do. You're disagreeing with them. You're never agreeing with anything anyone says in life, and that's a contradiction in itself. <laughs> so, to disagree with people, with anything they say, and you do this by just intentionally growing. Just grow yourself up here in your mind. Put your mind and fucking grow it. Grow the mind. Always. You can grow any time. You don't have to read. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is push your mind upwards. Push your mind and fucking grow. Just fucking grow. That's all you have to do. And once you do that, you realize that life is contradictory. Life is contradictory. You don't have to fucking act any kind of way just fucking grow just grow and you'll be contradictory it's so simple and I'm so intelligent <laughs> I'm so intelligent you have no idea and this is probably a, a revelation it's a revelation for the world because what I can do right now is help the world lift I can help the world lift I can find the words to say because I've been reading, I've been reading, I've been writing, I've been self-reflecting on every thought that I have. This is like that. This is like this. This is how it is. This is now. This will always be. This is my road. That's my path. No, it's not like that. It's like this. Nah, I go this way. That's contradiction. Contradiction. My grandma is getting old. She's getting old. She's going to die soon. Three years. In three years, she's going to be dead. <coughs> I just have a feeling. I have a feeling she's going to be dead soon. And I have to see her. I have to earn the money to fucking go and see her. My grandmother. 
My grandmother. I love her to death. I love my family to death. But I have to fucking leave my dad. I have to. Because he drags me down. He drags me down. Being around him. I cannot be around someone like that. I can. But I'd rather go and do what I want to do. Why would I want to live my dad my whole life? Or his whole life? <laughs> What's the point in that? I do more for him by being out of the house than being with him. Because now I get to make my own decisions. I get to do what I want. I get to go where I want. I get to get paid for what I do. So yes, I'm getting paid. I was correct. <laughs> Many people ask me, how do, how do you get paid, Danny? I have clients. I have clients. I, I get paid for my work. They're like, what? I already told you how. <laughs> There's no need for me to repeat myself. I have 10 clients. I help them all. Get less fat. I'm adding value to the market. So, yeah. Like, I was a schizophrenic before. And now, boom! My mind has lifted. It's gone. All the way up. And we are going even up. Even more. We are going up. We're going up. There's no ceiling anymore. There's no glass ceiling because I can grow. I can grow. I can keep growing. I can creep going. I can I can grow until I'm 150 years old. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm a vegan, bro. I'm a vegan. I live. I get to live. I get to live another seven years. I made up for lost time already. I made up for lost time. <laughs> I made up for lost time, mate. Those people who started well throughout life. <laughs> I've already caught up to them. From my vegan, veganism. By becoming vegan, by never eating fried foods, because that's my discipline now. To stay. That I've caught up to these people. I've caught up. For me, a person who lives longer in life is more successful to me than a person who inspired the world. Because to me, nothing inspires the world more than people who can live for 120 years, 120 years old. Like fucking, they, they fucking lived a life, mate. <laughs> to me, to me, they fucking lived a life. Oh, you, you're gonna fucking live your passion for 40 years and then fucking die at 80? Well, another guy's fucking lived 40 years long, longer than you. You're gonna fucking say that you lived a life? Like, fuck off. Man. Fucking live fucking one half more than you. Oof. Come on, man. 120 years old. Do you know what that is? You know what fucking life that is? What that person has done for the world? More than you? Than you ever will, ever will in life. person who lives one year longer than the next is more successful. He's lived longer. <coughs> I can do whatever I want. There's people that live longer than me are more successful than me. They've lived longer. But just because people have lived longer than you doesn't mean that you can have a deeper life than them. It doesn't mean that. There is no one way to think about it. I may say, I may say that, I may say that someone who has lived 120 years is more successful than a person who's lived 28. <coughs> but that person who has lived 28 might have lived more lives than 120 years old guy he might have had deeper experiences more success more fame more love from people more success in other areas I mean yeah if a person is 
120 years old and the other guy is 111. Yes, in terms of age, in terms of age, okay. This person who is 120 years old is more successful in age. In age, yes. But in, in terms of inspiring people, no. Maybe. You never know. You never know. I mean, a lot of people can be more successful than other people in other areas. Age is just one topic. There is inspiration, there is discipline, there is veganism, there is whatever. I'm successful the fucking 99% of the world right now because I'm a vegan in terms of eating. If, how the fuck do, 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 not, do people not understand that? That I'm successful. There are a lot of things that people don't understand. Some people understand, some people do not. And that's a contradiction right there. You know, because I say they understand and they do not. Because it's true. See, it's just both ways, yin yang. See, fucking, they understand. Yes, people understand. People don't understand. No. They are both, aren't they? There you go. So, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Both. Both. The world came as one. Neither came first. See? So you can go all and do anything you want. You can do whatever you want. That's why I have to write the spiritual proverb. I have to fucking get it out there. But life is just a contradiction. And you just have to keep living. You have to keep living on. You have to keep growing. There is no one way to think about it. That woman can go with whoever she wants. That's her life. I can go with whoever I want. Doesn't make her better than me. Doesn't make me better than her. I may be better than her in some areas. She might be better than me in some areas. But we are all equal. We are all equal. Even though some of us are more superior than the next. In terms of lifestyle, in terms of education, in terms of wisdom, you know. So, yes, there is such thing as superior, 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 superiority, or superior thinking. Some people are more superior than others. You have alpha and you have beta. Alpha is more dominant than a beta. Betas are more of a bitch. So women go for the alpha, aren't they? You know, so, me. I like to say you know, so for me, I have to be more alpha and I have to be more contradictory, always. I always have to be more alpha. Everybody has to be more positive in life. Everyone, everyone needs improvement. To say that you never need improvement is to be a little bitch. So you can always go back on your words, talk from a back point, right? Do you guys get what I say? Do you see what I mean? That's exactly what I mean. Just keep talking the way you do. Be who you are. Be where you were destined to be. Talk from a backdrop. Talk from behind what you're saying. You can talk from the front and go into the future. You can go sideways and you can go, nah, that person, that's sideways thinking. Or if you go to the left and you go, nah, who are they? So sideways thinking is about people, they. What are they doing? If you go upward, go upward thinking. You're, you're thinking more leadership, more vision, more prosperity, more abundance. When you're thinking down, you're going down. You're thinking, fuck, how, 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 is, how is the world... What? Like you're making excuses when, you, when, you, when you're thinking down. Think up, look up, look up in life. So be contradictory. If you're looking down, be contradictory about it. No, I see that you're down. I see there. No, we're not going that way. <laughs> we're not going down. We're going up. So always change. Always change your thinking. Always. Never leave it the way it is. Always be adapting it. Adapt it, adapt it, adapt it. Adapt it and think. And think better. Think better than you do. 
Berra is always a better word than harder. There is no such thing as hard work. For me, there is only better work. There's only better work for me. Work hard, work hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, work better, man. Work better. People work better. They don't work harder. They work better. All right? That's it. Fuck. I solved the fucking issue of hard work. It's not fucking hard work for me. It's not hard work. This is not hard work. This is better work. This is better work for me. People can see, like, and say, oh, 47 minutes this guy's talking on on the phone but to me i learn through I, I learn i learn through everything i say in life everything i teach even though i'm teaching the camera teaching you teaching whoever the, whoever's watching this right now i learn from it i picked up many skills i've, I've gained i've pushed myself up now because i can talk mate i i got that i've got that radio host vibe do you hear my English? Look at me. I don't have to go back and look at this video. I already know what I say. I already know who I am. I've got a passion. I live for the people. I live for God. I live for myself. So yeah. I love Buddha. I love religion. I love everything. I'm spiritual. I'm a spiritual person. I'm allowed to say God. I'm allowed to say that there is no God. I'm allowed to tell you anything that you want to hear in life. <sighs> so yeah, like, use words to your advantage. If you can socialize, if you can socialize, you can do whatever you want. You can pick up any woman you want. Just be contradictory. Be the way you are right now. Be the way you are. Do what you want. Say what you want. Think the way you think. Because your thoughts lead you where you want to go. See this? See this here? See that? That's in my mind. All fucking day. Yeah. <coughs> Do something for nothing. Do something for nothing. That's all in my fucking day. Everything that's in my day is something for nothing. Because it's written up there. Everything. This. What. What do you think this video is? Something. It's something, for nothing. For nothing. I just make it. Right. People go fucking work, and they give fucking nothing for something. People are working a nine to five job now. Right now. For nothing. No, they're giving nothing in their job for fucking something. For like a what, fucking 20, 20 bucks an hour. They don't even fucking working that much. They're working 12 bucks an hour for the whole fucking year. Whoever's fucking earning $25 a day right now is earning fucking $12 per day. Because it may seem that though, as though it's 25 bucks. It may seem as that. There is an inflation that's going down on money right now. Money is going down in value over time. And the harder you work, Right? Some people, yes, some people are working harder. There is such thing as hard work for them. For me, it's better work. All right? So now, they are working, say, 25 bucks an hour. Right? But the tax, they get taxed. 30%. 30 to 50%, they get taxed from that money. The money goes to the rich. Right? And then they're working for 12 bucks per hour. So for me to fucking work for 12 bucks an hour is ridiculous. I'd rather have fucking time, get paid on social security, get paid for my fucking work, get paid to have time to do stuff, to do stuff that's beneficial for me, to have time by myself, to be independent, to live for free, than to go out there and fucking do and work someone else's job or build someone else's dream for fucking 12 bucks an hour for fucking to be a slave for them fuck that so I fucking turn the tables in my favour now I fucking lag going to a 9 to 5 job 
And I say, no, I'll fucking work 15 hours a week. 15 hours, that's my fucking right. And if they don't want to fucking pick me, that's better for me. I get two more weeks free time. Each person that doesn't like me, doesn't get me. So, each person that doesn't like me gives me more time. They can reject me all they fucking want. They can reject me all they fucking want. <coughs> but as soon as they reject me, I've did my side of the bargain. I get paid by Social Security. I get paid to live here for free. I get paid to do what I love to do. <laughs> I get paid. Even though other people reject me. And I get two weeks free time. With each rejection, I get two weeks free time. <coughs> and I fucking lag the fuck out of it. The fuck I lag. I lag. Unless I really fucking have to go, I'll go. But I fucking lag it. And I outsmart the people so much. I outsmart them. That now the universe pays me to do my work. So am I getting paid to do what I love to do? Yes. Every fucking day. And I am fucking that 1% of the world right now. Who is fucking cruising. Cru Mwah. Cruising, cruising through life. I'm cruising through life. With money, with everything. I've got money, I've got money. I'm a vegan. I've cut expenses. I've cut my expenses. I live below my means, and that's why I live rich. I live rich right now. And all that other fucking shit, I, need, I did not need it at all. I did not need it because my life right now is the way... It's supposed to be. Even though I'm fucking living below my means, I still live the way it's supposed to be. So yeah. I intentionally grow every single day. So I have to fucking start. <laughs> get myself a podcast and fucking do one hour shows. Just like this. Fucking talk by myself. With no one. With me. And there are some things that I cannot fucking tell them right now. Even though I can. I can go all out. But people will spread the word about me and what's going on with me. And people are going to be jealous and people are going to find out. And people are going to tell the police and everything's going to happen and all this kind of shit. is going to start up and then the police can come knocking to my door. Even though they can't because I technically fucking did everything that I was supposed to be doing. And so it just causes drama for people to know how I live and what my rent is and how much I spend per year and all that fucking shit. So just keep that to yourself because the world does not need to know how much you pay for certain things and how much you earn per year and all that shit. You don't have to know how much your rent is or how you live and who you live with and how your life is and all that. No don't need to know a fucking thing about you. Keep it to yourself. They don't fucking deserve it. They don't. They don't deserve it at all. Don't tell anyone about your life. Expose the things that you are confident about telling people. How's that? Expose the things that are going to build you up, not fucking cause drama for yourself. So that's all I can tell you. Is that I can fucking learn on a fucking camera like this. Just speaking to myself. With no one in the fucking room. And have the fucking best conversation on the planet. So what does that fucking say about me? Come on man. I can fucking go out there and do anything I want. Right now. I can fucking build the life I want. I can do what I fucking want. Look at my... Do you see my mentors right here? These guys are fucking who made me today. They fucking made me, even though they fucking didn't, right? It's a contradiction. But these guys are the fucking guys I look up to. <coughs> this guy, Gary Vaynerchuk, he's my mentor. But he's fucking talk shit about my other mentor, all right? Steve Jobs. He's the fucking reason I'm holding this fucking camera right now, 
Huh? Fucking Apple, mate. The guy's a fucking visionary, man. You give a fuck what people think? He fucking created a fucking phone, mate. A phone. I don't give a fuck how he treated his workers. He fucking brought something into the planet. That's the fucking important thing. Alright? His fucking shit stays here. If you fucking hate Steve Jobs, fucking take off all his fucking Apple shit from the planet. Alright? As long as his fucking stuff is here in the planet, that means he's someone in life. Alright? For me, he'll always be someone because look what he done. Alright? He doesn't have to fucking teach me anything, that guy. Even though he's got so many quotes, but he's up there, he's inspired me because this guy has fucking got the Apple Watch, he's got fucking all these kind of shit. Right? Like, iPhones. Nice invention. Ah, I like it. And it helps me. He's got the Apple. Look at my, look at my fucking laptop, man. It's my laptop. Like, fuck. It's my mum's laptop. I don't give a fuck. I use it to my advantage now. How about that? I fucking give him everything to my dad. Everything that he fucking gave me, I fucking gave it back to him. And there's not a, th not a fucking thing that he has given me now. Nothing. For the past 50 days, I fucking paid my rent. I fucking did everything. Without him. Without him. And I have no need for him. At all. I don't have to see him again. At all. I don't. I don't have to fucking see him again. Even though I can. Even though I can see him. I can go and see him. See, that's a contradiction. That's all contradictory. It's contradictory. Contradiction and contradictory thinking it helps persuade people. It helps inspire people to be and do and do whatever they want and be happier. That's life, man. That's life. See, I can just talk on my mind and what I think and what inspires me in life. All this that I've said today inspires me. I inspire myself because guess what? I'm fucking growing. I'm fucking growing. No one can stop me now. No one can fucking stop me at all. They can fucking say, oh, this person's better than you and this fucking guy has more money than you and this guy fucking has a better girlfriend than you and this guy has more, more cars and more fucking this and more that. Like, fuck off. I don't fucking need you either, alright? So simple. Like, you cannot fucking get to me at all. <laughs> That's it. Watch when I fucking get on the stage, man. When I get on the stage and I speak in front of fucking thousands of people, they're gonna be like, fuck, this guy knows how to fucking grow. Because guess what? I'll fucking use... I'll fucking use... Contradiction to get my way. <laughs> and that's not evil, even though it is. <laughs> it's evil and it's not, but contradictory, that's life, man. Like that's the only way you can live in life. You can't you can't just be fucking good. You have to be bad too. You can't just be bad. You have to be good too. You have to be both sides. You can't be just fucking one side all your life. You have to be both ways. You have to be always. You cannot just be one fucking side, the one book in life. You have to be all fucking books. And you fucking you can't be a fucking only a fucking Christian and follow the Christian Bible only. No, you fucking that's the worst thing in life. That's the worst thing to fucking follow the Christian Bible. Just not to follow it, but to follow only the Christian Bible. That's the fucking worst thing. Those people are fucking possessed. <laughs> possessed, bro. The best thing in life is follow the Buddhism, follow every fucking religion, follow everything. Cause that's fucking, that's fucking the money. That's the fucking goal. That's the fucking where you want to be. That's fucking spirituality, man. <laughs> you know. So when I get up on stage, man, and I see Tony Robbins, I'm like, hey, is this Tony Robbins? Fuck. And I'll be like, the other day, I was fucking at home, and now I'm fucking with this guy. And like, I'll fucking, I'll swear on the stage because why the fuck not? Like, what, what? Oh, you never heard a fucking swear? Like, I can swear on the, on the stage. I'll be like, guess what, guys? 
here I am, here I am. This is me trying to like be now in front of the stage. Hey guys, listen. Hello, my name is the James Bond of Grove, and I am here to inspire all of you. Yes, so we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have so much fun. And this is why, because I have three businesses and they're multi millionaires, multi million dollar businesses right now. And I've earned $100 million per business. Over $100 million, right? And I'll tell you why. Because I want everyone, each and every one of you, to live up to your potential. To live better. I want to inspire the world to be better than they are. Alright? That's my reason. Now, what is NFL? NFL is the granddaddy. It's the three areas of life. There's only three areas of life. There's only three. Alright? And that's nutrition, finance, and life coaching. Everything that you ever know in life falls under these three categories. <laughs> so, that's how it goes, right? And I can just be like on my feet talking whatever the fuck I want on stage. And these people at Toastmasters, they can talk me whatever the fuck they want. And I'll just fucking contradict, try and con I'll just like backdrop this, that. Yes, okay, cool. Now, I fucking gave a speech. I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't give a fuck about your feedback. I've given my speech already. Now, what you said, I will take on board. Although I won't. I don't give a fuck about what you said and your thoughts and what you think about me and how you think I should think. Because, guess what? Life is contradictory, remember? You can tell me you can improve this way, that way, that way. Choose your fucking thoughts. That's it. There is no cho There's no fucking thoughts to choose from. That's the thing. And people make it out that there's only one way to think. They're stupid.